the bike to Koron Buswanga and we're going to Batanga Sanilao. Woo! What it feels like to travel with a lot of Allah! 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 Ooh. Here comes the pickup. About one and a half hour later, we just drove uh, all the way down to Mabini. It is very quick ride. Before it used to take like three, four hours at this. Now it's like one and a half, max two hours because of the brand new highway. Then we have to take uh, this boat to the resort, which is around that cove. That's awesome. Thank you. Welcome to a brand new scuba diving vlog. We haven't done one of these for quite some time. We're gonna have everything in this one featuring Anilao, the world famous <laughs> diving destination. I believe it's uh, one of, if not the most popular site in the Philippines for good reasons. It is known as the center of the center of all marine biodiversity in the Coral Triangle. But I also like to say Visayas too, you know, basically all the Philippines is. <laughs> Cora Triangles are Philippines, Indonesia and Malaysia. PNG actually stretches yeah, all the way to Solomon Islands. So yeah, I am just super pumped to finally be able to share with you guys this magnificent paradise of the Philippines. Me and Shirlin, we were here about four years ago or so, mm -hmm. and we were only doing our advanced course. <laughs> So we didn't really get to do a fun dive. And fun dive means like exploration. You really yeah. get to see what the dive site's all about. So we linked up with the Buseo Anilo Dive Resort for good reasons. Was again, just like in Koron, we select and do a research about the destination. And the best dive site, to my knowledge, is right behind the resort. Where the most of them are, are actually across the bay so they'll need like 20, 30 minute boat ride just to get to the dive site or the one that I like. There's of course many different topography and things to see, but the ones that I like the most is the mucky bottom, the desolation, <laughs> no corals. <laughs> and also some rubble, uh, that's a good there. You can see a lot of creatures. So we want to get to a location that is able to take us straight to the dive site and maximize our four day time here in Anila. Let's go diving. Okay, let's go. Or let's show you the resort. Sea turtle. Come in. Ooh. Nice one. Yeah. Master bed and extra bed. Mm -hmm. Safety box, wardrobe, mm -hmm. and refrigerator. Let's see the CR. Whoa! Ooh, nice tiles. And the best part? The view. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Hey, isn't that uh, Sombrero Island or something? I forgot the name. We, we've been there before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've been there. What a nice spot. The resort is fully equipped to the highest standards and after each dive you're able to come here, walk to the showers with cold or hot water, put all your gear up to dry before the next dive. Rinse off your gear or your cameras. And the best part about the facilities, for me, camera room. <laughs> That's all boys! Let's jump on the boat, do some diving. Good morning! Good morning! Welcome aboard! 
Every scuba diver's bucket list is the heavy frogfish, blue ring octopus and mimic and here on our very first thing we see on our first dive a hairy frogfish. A few minutes later, guess what? A mimic octopus, which is my favorite. And these being two first pieces on the dive, we couldn't be happier. One of our mission here in Anilaw was to see new species that we've never seen in Darwin. And here's a few of them. A zebra crab and Mariana nudibranch. This one we've been looking for a while. Getting into the water on our second dive of the day, one of the first species we see is a clown frogfish. Black with orange dots which morph into another shape and color after about 2-3 weeks. This dive site is known as the secret spot in Anilao and possibly is the best dive site in my opinion. Here you'll find all the octopuses you want to see. And this is my second Matoti octopus, a cousin of the blue ring octopus with seriously deadly venom in his body. At the end of the dive we witnessed something special, two wonder purses mating. They were together wrapped around each other for at least 5 or 10 minutes. It's a bit emotional because some octopus species after mating they go into the hole and they stay in the hole and take care of the eggs until they die. So this event might be the final phase of their life. We got a Lumi, which is a Batanka speciality. Delicacy. Delicacy. Mm. That's really good. Now, I believe the dives couldn't get any more crazier than previous day, but on this one, we see a fight between two octopuses. One of them is definitely the Mimic Octopus, my favorite octopus in the animal kingdom. And I believe it's a long-armed octopus that has him wrapped around him and is suffocating him. Now the very sad thing about this is, yes it's easy for me to break up the fight, but that would be intervening with nature. And when an event like this happens in the scientific community, you're never supposed to interfere. You have to let it play its course. And as sad as it is seeing my favorite octopus, the extremely rare mimic one, possibly being killed here, was uh, kind of hard, hard to see. And you can see even a few divers in the shot. They're not even taking photos. They're not even taking pictures or video. They're just staring at this event unfolding. Possibly seeing this for the first time as well. So it was kind of heartbreaking seeing um, this happening, but it, this is how nature is and uh, in the end, 
the brown long arm octopus wins and uh, drags him into his hole where they will feast of him. That's nature. So far with the first two days we have been unbelievably lucky. Everything from finding a couple of mimics to the long arm octopus fighting and killing a mimic, wonderpus mating and all the other cool neuter branks that we haven't seen before. And of course this isn't always like this guys. This is very lucky timing because right now the water temperature is going from cold to the normal warm. 28, 29 degrees temperature here in the Philippines. And it's just in between those cold and warm where there's a lot of activity going on. That's why you see the mating, that's why you see the fights. And we were just right there at the right time. So we were super lucky. What are we gonna find, Enzo? Uh, we can find uh, some uh, small stuff. And... Uh, coral and white. Yeah. Nice one. Thank you for uh, carrying the camera. Yeah. No problem. No problem. It's like going to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> it's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> With Puseo, guys, you uh, you can have uh, up to you full service if you want to set up your tanks, if you want to bring your stuff on the boat. But it's optional. For example, me, I always like to check my gear myself when the um, it's put on. Check the air yourself just to make sure that. Uh, Everything is okay, but you have the option of uh, full awesome uh, service because if you're here, you usually do like three, four dives a day. It can be very uh, tiring at the end of the day, so getting any extra help is just awesome. This dive side is very unique because it's an artificial reef. It was actually a floating casino that uh, caught fire and that sunk, of course. It's about 12 meters down to 32. And we were here about four years ago and uh, yeah we did a film match because we only had a GoPro so I'm very excited to see what we can check out on this dive. We want to find the electric clam. Pretty much everything we wanted to see on this trip we did see. And once again, I have to encourage everybody to try scuba diving. Right now, Philippines is the world's leading diving destination. No other place on the planet has as many species as this country. So I'll let the clips roll. This is a montage of only diving for four days in Anela.
everything exceeded our expectations. From the mimics to the wonder purse and all the rest of the octopuses we saw, the harlequins, the nudibranchs, everything that I wanted to see was ticked off except the famous rhinopias. Unfortunately, we got to learn that the rhinopias are very seasonal, like many, many species. That is the, I'll just put a picture here, very strange looking fish. And apparently they come out mostly in December. So we're definitely gonna be back here in December to try to uh, spot them. Shout out to Buseo, what a fantastic trip. We're going back home. We have a big trip coming up. Thank you guys for watching. Shout out to Enzo, our guy, Dave Martin. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh, nice picture, guys. Put it wherever you want. There's a good spot there. Below the blue picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm.